hi again, it's me. <laughs> I felt weird, like, you know, I knew the, the I was talking, but you couldn't actually see my face. So I thought since I wasn't showing you the computer anymore, I would go to a part three so you could actually see me. Um, so the key to doing well in the incentive is recruiting, hands down. And unless you, and you know, people have done it with just sales. I, actually, to be perfectly honest, I made the New York uh, City incentive trip almost purely on my own sales because I didn't have a, much of an incentive team at that time. And the few incentive team members I had um, really weren't selling much. So it was kind of me on my own for the most part. Um, actually, though that was a whole year ago and as i said there's so many more consultants now uh that just trying to work off your own piece just not gonna fly unless you can somehow sell twenty thousand dollars worth of posh in the next four months which i mean it's not out of the range of possibility people people did that um <laughs> the people that uh were at the top of the saint thomas incentive uh some of them literally did sell twenty thousand dollars worth of posh in three months uh, not everyone's going to be able to do that though. So what this comes down to is building a team, um, bringing on new team members um, who will be able to be good sellers and to help boost your team volume. Uh, remember that everybody started at zero today and that doesn't mean that they took away your rank. Um, for the purposes of the incentive, and I'm going to say that a lot, for the purposes of the incentive, everybody's a new protege today. Uh, it doesn't matter if you, uh, what your rank was before and you still keep that rank it's not like they stripped you of your rank if you're if you're a pp2 you stay a pp2 but for the purposes of the incentive you are a protege today with no team members um unless you recruited somebody today um so anybody who was on your team previously uh prior to today does not count towards your team volume for the purposes of the incentive. So, you know, I have all these, I have my fabulous team of 85 uh, and none of you count <laughs> for me for the incentive. Uh, I have, at this point, I am a team of one. I am myself a team of one, just as you are all a team of one, unless you recruited somebody today. Um, so, uh, and, and that's really actually very advantageous for anybody who's new. Um, I've seen it in every single incentive so far that a lot of times the people who are most successful in these incentives are brand new consultants, people who come on during the incentive period uh, because they haven't recruited anybody yet. You know, they're brand new. So, you know, if somebody's a, a platinum premier and has been doing this for three years, uh, they've probably recruited almost everybody they know who's, <laughs> who's going to be interested. Um, so, but, you know, I tell you, though, the, 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 the platinum premieres, um, a lot of them do end up going on every single one of these trips because they um, they really push and they find even though they've they feel like they've you know like exhausted their resources for finding new recruits they find them anyway because you know they're they're all so um, they're so good at what they do and they're so good at running their their posh businesses um, so take their advice that's in this uh, adventure passport that I that I just highlighted because um, there's a lot of really good strategies for finding recruits which I know I know better than anybody how hard it is to recruit um, but um, so it, these, there are definitely ways that you can improve your chances of finding recruits. So, so again, for the purposes of the incentive, we're all protégés and we're all trying to rank up. So, um, again, it just, it works straight like the regular ranking does. Once you have a thousand dollars in sales cumulatively, it doesn't have to be one calendar month, uh, you go to pink. Um, then next you to be pink plus one, you need, um, 2000 in team volume. So your own personal volume plus that of anybody in your incentive team, anybody who was your, on your team prior to today does not count. Uh, but anybody on your incentive team, uh, counts towards your, your team volume and you need 2000, um, and one QFC, one qualified frontline consultant. So one person with $200, uh, in sales in a calendar month. So if that, if you um, have uh, two team members added this month and you have a thousand dollars in in team volume uh, you're not going to advance to ping plus one uh, you, it has to be within this calendar month uh, next month if you you know you still have those those team members and you get another thousand dollars in team volume you don't add this month to next month it has to be in that calendar month to promote to ping plus one uh, again, then P plus two, you need 4,000 and, um, and two QFCs and has to be in that calendar month. Uh, and then same for all the other rankings, just like it, it goes when we, um, when we look at regular rankings. 
Um, the, the deal is rank is the number one consideration for how high you are in the rankings for the incentive. So uh, it's the top 60 going to Costa Rica. So for the purposes of uh, ranking for the trip and getting those top 60 people, your rank will be the most the, the highest consideration. So if you if for anybody that manages to rank up quickly, they have a, a huge advantage over everyone else because um, say you had uh, you were a pink plus two and you had, $50,000 of cumulative team volume during the incentive period. So between June and September, you had $50,000 worth of, um, of team volume, but you couldn't, you got those in all the separate months rather than all having them all in one month where you could rank up. Uh, and then somebody else is, um, a pink plus three and they had only 20,000 in, um, in team volume, but they did it all in one month or, you know, they got enough in one month to, to promote up to pink plus three. They're a higher rank than you. They're going to be higher on the list, um, of rankings to, for the trip. Um, so I probably should have written that down because I know that's a little confusing, but, uh, Rank is the first consideration, and then everybody in that rank goes on the list according to how high their team volume is. So, uh, so for the um, St. Thomas incentive, there was a gold premiere. She was at the top, and then there were I think maybe two silver premieres. It was crazy. It was crazy how fast people promoted during this really short period of time. Uh, so when I say it's competitive, this is what I'm talking about. Um, and then, and then it was people who had made premier level during, again, during the incentive. So these are people that managed to build a team and have $20,000 in team volume in one month, just from the people they recruited during the incentive period, which blows my mind because <laughs> you saw how, how hard we worked to make premier last month and, or two months ago now how hard we worked and that was you know with all of us so people I'd been you know been team building for for two years so <laughs> to do it in a couple months just it's amazing what people what some people can do but anyway so then so so for all those premieres it was going to be ranked on the list uh, according to team volume so we were at the highest team volume was going to be first of the premieres and then on their way down um, let me know if that's not clear and I can write it out and then show pictures and make another video. Uh, if you have any other questions about incentive, please let me know. Uh, it's super exciting. Um, it gets insane during incentive. People do so much team building. Uh, you know, some people say, gosh, you know, Posh spends a lot of money on these trips. These are really elaborate, expensive trips. Um, they do it because it is a huge business boost. I'm not kidding. People push like mad during these incentive periods uh, for, for sales. So, so, you know, to, if you, if you want to be in it and if you want to, you know, if you, if you, if you want to win that trip too, or earn, we don't say win because you're not winning it, you're earning it. And believe me, you really earn it. If you want to earn that trip to Costa Rica, you have to start today. Uh, literally, you have to start today. You can't say, oh, you know, there's four months or, oh, I'm busy right now or, oh, I'm tired from last month or, or you know, something's going on. No, you have to start today. Uh, if, you, if you're committed to really trying this um, and you don't have to earn the Costa Rica trip. I mean, you saw those prizes. There's some really, really nice prizes. I mean, they're giving away hundreds of thousands of, per of perks and hundreds of thousands of posh points. And that could be yours too, uh, even if you don't earn the trip to Costa Rica. But again, you have to start now. Um, so there you go. I am so excited. I will be so happy to help you in any way that I can. So just let me know. Great. See you later. Bye.